Hi there, Kim. Hi there, Susan. Yeah, the Rose Bowl getting closer, the stadium looming behind us in the background here. And today was our final opportunity to talk to the Penn State players about what they've experienced so far here in California. Welcome to the glitz and glamour of Rose Bowl Media Day. Every Nittany Lion player on the roster made available to talk on this day. And of course, when you come to the Rose Bowl, you have to do the obligatory pose with the rose in your teeth. A vast majority of the guys on this team have never ever been to California and we wanted to know from some of the California newbies how they felt about their Cali experience. It's kind of like a mix between New York City and like Ocean City boardwalks. There's just a lot going on, a lot of people everywhere. What's been the most memorable thing that you've experienced so far out here? Okay, this is going to be kind of funny because it's kind of like dorky I'd say, but <laughs> Disneyland was awesome. I mean, I rode like almost every ride there right. and half of them I barely fit in, but I still was making sure I was getting in there and riding them because it was a lot of fun. It's kind of nice. I mean, I like chilling around and I mean, they people seem to chill here, so <laughs> it's kind of it's not like the East Coast where it's bustling and everything. Yeah, kickers are always chill guys, don't you know that? Penn State won't even get to see the Rose Bowl till Sunday. That's when they get to take their team picture inside here. And then, of course, it's kickoff, 2 o'clock our time here on Monday. We're live outside the Rose Bowl on the Nittany Lions Trail. Pat Principe, News 8. Susan? All right, thank you, Pat. And News 8's Brian Roach is also in California tonight, and he joins us live with more on the rich history of the stadium and the big game. Well, Susan, there's roughly 40 bowl games played in the country every holiday season, but this one is the granddaddy of them all. The first bowl game started in 1902. The game, though, became so popular after it was started that a new stadium was needed, and in 1922, construction was finished on the Rose Bowl Stadium as we now know it. The first game played in that stadium? between Penn State and USC. But the 29 players, yes, only 29 players from Penn State were actually late in arriving at that game because they got caught up in a lot of traffic after the Rose Parade. And that they met at uh, midfield and that USC said that you were late because you're trying to get in the heads of the Trojan players. And um, a, a fight actually ensued and they physically had to pull the two coaches apart at that time. Could you imagine that? The coach is having a fist fight at the middle of the field before the game. Don't see that happening this year. We just expect a really big battle. Uh, by the way, that game in uh, 1923, the very first one, USC won that one 14-3. One other interesting note about this game this year, it's the 75th anniversary of the one and only Rose Bowl that was not played here in Pasadena. In December 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, so the game was moved in January of 1942 all the way across the country to Durham, North Carolina, where Duke took on Oregon. This Monday, we're going to see a very good game right here in Pasadena. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Brian. And Pat and Brian will be in Los Angeles through Monday. They're following all aspects of the game and the festivities leading up to it. We'll also look at the Nittany Lions remarkable season. You can see our Rose Bowl special Roar for the Roses tonight at 7 o'clock right here on WGAL. And